What's up guys, Twintuitive717, I am back with the saucy bossy in a basket and we're going to dive into the masculine's energy. I'm going to do a message on why it is they're quiet or why it is they're silent. You guys could be in separation, you haven't communicated in a while, the conversation was left at like a dead end is what I'm hearing. Okay, so talking, talking, and then all of a sudden stop communicating, that's what I'm getting. Okay, so we have transformation. Okay, so there's something about the conversations that you both have been having that might have been heavy. <clears throat> so depending on how you left the conversation, I'm hearing that something heavy came up. Both of you said what you had to say, and then after that it might have been very triggering, or you put them to think, or it's causing tran transformative thoughts, okay? About what exactly can we find out what the masculine's are experiencing transformation over during this period of silence okay so they may be isolating right now so again I feel like it confirms that you put them to think okay this could do with a variety of things um, the first the first energy that I'm picking up on is the thought of like family or children um, anything that causes some kind of major transformation for them okay I'm hearing moving in together I'm hearing um, like even if you have conversations about like career wise and like what your goals and dreams are it's really triggering right now so much to the point where they don't mean to ghost you but they realize that there's a whole bunch of shit on their plate that they haven't even thought about and maybe you've put them to think Okay, so the silence is part of them isolating. I feel like it's not only you they're quiet with, but it's like family, friends. This could be a masculine who kind of feels like, you know what, I don't even know if what I'm doing at work is the right thing for me. Maybe I want more solid foundation, more of a solid foundation. Maybe I want more structure in my life. Um, this could be a divine masculine where it's like, maybe they go from job to job or... Um, you know, as long as they're surviving, it's all good, but you've put them to think about stability in some way or... Um, like what do they have to offer or what do they have for themselves or what, what do they have building in the background is what I'm getting with the rocks because this takes patience and I feel like it represents patience so what have they been working on what have they been building that is theirs really triggering stuff divine feminine but I think it speaks volumes over how it is they feel or see you um, the fact that you're able to get them to think about stability and, and really planting their feet down firmly somewhere foundation um, I think it speaks volumes about how it is they're feeling for you okay um, we also get again transformation energy here because you have two butterflies she's also holding a butterfly in um, the photograph a black butterfly and then there's a butterfly over the mouth as well it represents death for me both of them because to transform you have to leave something behind and I feel like many of your masculines are getting ready to leave bad habits behind um, just because of the forming structure and solid foundation, like I'm getting, you know, good conversation between two people, but at the same time, very triggering conversation. I think in the last reading as well, I did share this very competitive energy that your masculines might feel with you at times where like if they start connecting with you and then they might start feeling unworthy, like you might be a divine feminine where it's like you have your shit together. Um, you could be younger than this divine masculine, which they find is quite impressive even more impressive that you have your shit together um you have a clear head you are blunt you say what's on your mind you could be an air sign divine feminine or an earth sign um but you're very grounded in your truth you're honest you're loyal um and i feel like that's what has them isolating it's like they may be taking a good look at where it is they're at right now um where are they headed where are the divine masculines headed with this energy after they merge out of this silence Okay, we have toxicity bound in pattern. So this could be something that they're addressing. I feel like no solid movement forward until they're able to address this. Um, again, whatever conversations have come up between you, suffering, lack, past. Um, I do see someone who is isolating and are in their thoughts because I'm like, when I look at this card as well, like I'm seeing someone who feels like they've maybe wasted a portion of their life. Um, and I'm also hearing the words like the years that counted the most. So I don't know what that could mean for some of you. Maybe you have masculines who are older and they feel like they could have done more with their time or they're wishing that they could have done more. 
Um, but I'm also hearing like it's not too late and it's never too late, which is why you have the transformation here coming through. But there is a sense of like regret and maybe suffering when they think about the past. Um, if you guys have been on this journey as well for a really long time with your masculines, they could be having regrets over some of the advice that you've given them over time and wish that they'd taken that advice sooner, okay? They could be in the, the, the thick of it in terms of addressing toxic patterns, um, anything to help them get closer to feeling a little bit more solid with themselves or their energy. Um, okay, let's get... How they see the divine feminine at this time how are you affecting the divine masculines because we do know that with the connection between masculine and feminine you're always on their mind just like they're always on your mind okay so we have north node cosmic and we have purpose okay so seeing you as uh, i feel like something that they look up to like almost like this when you look out at the sky at night and you think I feel like you come to mind divine feminine something silent within them that keeps them going or keeps them pushing every day okay again just a simple conversation with you has it, it either plants seeds within your masculine whether they see it you know today tomorrow or next year you know you have a way of making them pursue their goals or continue to seek out their goals or at least remember what their purpose is here and I, it's coming off in a really romantic way where they want you to know that divine feminine like they want you to know that you've had this impact on them and even though it might not appear that way through the silence it might seem like they're shutting down they're blocking themselves off but with a lot of the masculines like they don't want to talk about this stuff with you you know they just want to get cracking on it <laughs> they want to get working on it there's no there's no time to talk about it or tell you where they're at or tell you where it is they're going. They they might as well just go and get that done. Um, and that's just what I'm getting from this particular energy. Um, and it feels like rough and sturdy. So I'm going to get a message from the romance angels to see what's under that um, kind of hard exterior. How do the masculines feel for the feminines romantically at this time? Although there may be distance between you two, how are they romantically feeling towards you, Divine Feminine? What is hidden? Okay, so we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay, they may want to reach out. They may want to flirt. Again, I do feel like if you have your shit together, it's an attractive thing as much as it is triggering. Um, it is attractive. I'm also getting to they may see you as flirtatious at this time and it's it's a double trigger in terms of, you know, the time wasted and shoulda, woulda, coulda. Um, whatever it is you're doing right now, they maybe wish it was themselves that all of this attention was focused on. Um, I'm hearing a portion of their karma um, is also seeing you just in this lighthearted energy as well divine feminine um but that's also what's maybe pushing this masculine to feel a little bit more grounded into themselves and also you know light a fire under their ass at the same time to get moving in the direction that they want to like i'm hearing the words no time to feel sorry for yourself so that's maybe kind of why the universe has designed it in such a way to have the feminines off in this kind of flirty light-hearted energy it's creating a lot of romantic feelings here from the masculines um, it says your feelings are real and worth exploring. Do they want to reach out? And they think about reaching out. Okay, so that confirms for many of you not at this time. Okay, and it it kind of goes hand in hand with the past lack suffering and the thoughts as well right and the fact that they may be dealing with a lot of toxicity and patterns and i like it's natural for many of you in the feminine energy to want communication because there may be a part of you that wants to you know somewhat soothe this energy or um some of the things that you maybe did trigger within conversations i'm seeing that many of you want a chance to explain yourself or <laughs> it reminds me of the seinfeld episode the comeback where you know, you really want a chance to explain that you maybe didn't mean something in a certain way or 
you know something around the separation is 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 needed okay time apart is on the horizon the trigger was although it might have been awkward or it's created a sense of awkwardness and distance i'm hearing it was necessary okay so yeah they want to reach out yes you may also want to reach out but i feel like it's one of those things where you really have to kind of walk away from the table for a while and then come back with refreshed ideas but it's that walking away from it that's the hardest part that's what that separation here indicates and that's why like it, it confirms here that a lot of you are silent with one another um let's put this down and let's get the best course of action for the feminine it's like with the distance on the horizon what's your best course of action and what to focus on in your own life right now divine feminine what are you to focus on and this could be part of the reason that your divine masculines can't help but want to reach out because with you being in a flirty energy just kind of being out and about socializing what do you need to do more of or what do you need to focus on divine feminine Okay, so we have the Ace of Summer, which is open up your heart to love, <laughs> the beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one, the awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. Well, that's interesting because, you know, again, part of that conversation that many of you have had, um, I'm hearing that it's triggering or it created a sense of walking away because maybe with the divine feminines, like many of you are ready to be swept off your feet. You are ready for new love. You don't want to be stuck and stagnant in this energy with your masculines being uncertain or again, not having enough solid structure and foundation in their lives. Um, you know, sometimes routine is attractive <laughs> um, and many of them are just, yeah, they're going to bunker down for a while until they can digest that okay there's a you're putting a lot on the plate um but i feel like this could be something on their mind as well and you're continued or encouraged by the universe to continue to open up your heart to what it is you want because at the same time it's maybe lighting a fire under your masculine as well um, we also have the eight of swords or the eight of winter you have what it takes if only you believe in yourself thinking that you're powerless when you're not a lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want okay so um, at this time, I, I, I feel like many of you want to reach out um, to your masculines, okay, especially when they go silent, but what you're not seeing is the silence is exactly what's needed for the connection. Um, believe that you have the ability to let go and let, like, what is, let's what, let what is meant to be at this time occur because, you know, if you continue to push a lot of your masculines aren't gonna align and then the separation is gonna happen you know it's like a couple of weeks down the road at this part <laughs> so continue to follow your gut divine feminine when it comes to sharing your truth with this divine masculine you yourself don't get triggered by the ghosting or the silence and just continue to keep an open heart okay what's your masculine's best course of action And for the masculines, the energy was a little bit heavy there, so I'm curious to see what is their best course of action. Okay, so the Ace of Spring. So both of you are getting new beginnings here with the Ace energy, but for the masculines, it says it's time to take action, be fearless, and happily pursue your most treasured dreams, amazing career opportunities. Okay, so <clears throat> it does confirm too, like at the beginning of the reading when I was talking about like some of the conversations that were triggering or you put them to think or you know you guys might have had a good conversation and then all of a sudden they stop communicating um i feel like they've they've stopped communicating because you've maybe opened up their eyes here to new beginnings that should be taking place for them um and i feel too divine feminines like no one else is having these conversations with them okay as as tense as they may get between you and your masculines um in their silence i feel like they really are grateful for the direction that the conversations between you two carry them in okay so if you found this reading i'm just wanting to i guess convey to you that the silence is actually due to many of your masculines just really yes feeling triggered but at the same time working on themselves you have a way of triggering them to move in the right direction but at the same time don't allow that to stagnate you or stop you or close you off from experiencing what it is you you want um, because if you don't, then you get caught up in the cycles too, okay? So 
yeah, I don't know who this was meant for. I hope it found you well. You guys enjoy, and I will catch you in the next one with the sleepy beeves. Okay, bye.